Today, we are excited to introduce the redesigned OX Lab. It features one of the most professional designs you could have for your server and it's free to download. Here are some samples of the design for you to check out if you're interested. I use Qbox as sample server to showcase the redesigned OX Lab. When we log in, we will see the character selection screen which features the new dark theme design of OX Lab. And here is the new notification for OX Lab. It looks professional and features a smooth dark color design now let's buy a burger at the store and we'll see any changes about the design look at the bottom right corner the notification is so beautiful currently I'm using a default OX inventory now when we eat something you will see uh, the progress bar has changed. When you look closely, you will see the percentage of how long it will take to finish eating. Now, we will crop a lockpick to observe its circle progress. As you can see, there is a significant difference between the old design and the new one. The new design is a major upgrade for your server and has a more aggressive look that fits well for your flares. Now, let's dive into the installation. First of all, you need the GitHub link. Now, the link is already given here in the screen. You just have to copy this one. Now that you are in the GitHub download link, you just have to select the latest version. Now, you just have to click the releases, which is the green one. You will then redirect it to the new page. Under the asset, you have to click the oxlab.zip. After that, you have to go to your download folder and then you have to extract this zip file. I'm currently using WinRAR, so I just have to select extract to OXLEV. And then I'm good to go, I just have to uh, cut this one or I have to copy this one. And then I will go to where my server is so currently my server resources is located here so it's in the documents folder and then server and qbox folder and then resources and then i just have to look for ox i just have to look for ox folder and then i just have to simply paste it here and and then we have to restart our server okay and there you go you're good to go and i hope this video helps you with your 5m server and i'm sorry about my english because i'm trying hard for this <laughs>